Today we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting integers. Our first example is going to be fairly easy. First we're going to solve 3 plus 4. The easiest way to think about this is by using a number line. If we start off at 3, whenever we're adding a number to 3, we have to go to the right. And whenever we're subtracting a number, we're going to move to the left. So since we're adding 4 to 3, that means that we're going to go 4 units to the right. This next number will be 4, 5, 6, 7. So we get that 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Next, we have 8 plus 3. We're going to draw a number line again. We're going to start at 8. And since we're adding 3 to 8, that means that we have to go 3 units to the right. 1, 2, 3. This will give us 9, 10, 11. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Next, we're going to have 5 plus 2. If we draw a number line, we start with the first number, 5. And since we're adding 2 to 5, we're going to go 2 units to the right. Here we'll have 6 and 7. 5 plus 2 is 7. Next, let's say we have 13 minus 4. When we draw a number line, we're going to start at 13. But we know that we have minus 4, which means that we have to go 4 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. This next number will be 12, 11, 10, 9. 13 minus 4 gives us 9. Next, let's say we have 8 minus 4. When we draw our number line, we're going to start off at 8. And then since we have minus 4, we're going to go 4 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we'll have 7, 6, 5, 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. Next, we'll have 12 plus negative 5. Whenever you have two symbols right next to each other, you have to think about what would happen if we were to multiply a positive number by a negative number. We know that a positive times a negative gives us a negative. Therefore, 12 plus negative 5 is equivalent to 12 minus 5. When we draw this on a number line, we're going to start off at 12. And we need to go 5 units to the left because it's 12 minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The next number will be 11, 
ten, nine, eight, seven. Twelve minus five is seven. Next, we have 10 plus negative 6, and we're also going to have 7 plus negative 2. Try these questions on your own by pausing the video. For the first one, we have 10 plus negative 6. This is going to be 10 minus 6, since a positive times a negative is a negative. 10 minus 6, we're going to start off at 10, and we're going to go 6 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. First number will be 9, 8. 7, 6, 5, 4. 10 minus 6 is 4. For the next one, we have 7 plus negative 2. Once again, whenever we have a positive and a negative right next to each other, it turns out to be a negative. And we will have 7 minus 2. We're going to draw our number line. We start off at 7, and we're going to go 2 units to the left because it's 7 minus 2. 1, 2. This will be 6 and 5. 7 minus 2 is 5. Next, we're going to have negative 46 plus negative 1. When we have a positive and a negative right next to each other, we can rewrite this as 46 minus 1. And if we were to draw this on a number line, we start off at negative 46, and we're going to go one unit to the left which would give us negative 47. Now I'm going to give you another way to think about these integers. I'm going to use the same example of negative 46 plus negative 1. We're going to start off with the same step, a positive and a negative right next to each other means that we can rewrite it as negative 46 minus 1. Next, you have to ask yourself, do these two numbers have the same sign in front or different signs? 46 has a negative sign in front, and negative 1 has a negative sign in front, which means that these two numbers have the same sign. Whenever you have numbers with the same sign, you add the two numbers together. 46 plus 1 is 47. And then you keep the sign that both of them share. So that would be negative 47. Next we have negative 34 plus 50. Here we ask ourselves, do the two numbers have the same sign or different signs? 34 has a negative sign in front. 50 has a positive sign in front, which means that the two signs are different. That means that we're going to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. 50 minus 34 is equal to 16, and then our answer is going to keep the sign of the bigger number, 
since 50 is bigger than 34, our 16 is going to be positive. Next, let's say we have 22 minus 64. We need to see do these two numbers have the same sign or different signs. The 22, whenever there's no sign in front, that means that that number is positive. 64 has a negative sign in front, which means that it's negative. So both numbers have different signs. That means that we're going to subtract the bigger number minus the smaller number. 64 minus 22 is 42. And the last step is our answer needs to have the same sign as the bigger number. Since 64 is bigger, our answer will have a negative in front. So our answer will be negative 42. Next, we have negative 1 minus 10. Do these two numbers have the same sign or different signs? Negative 1 is negative, and our 10 is also negative, which means that these two numbers have the same sign. Whenever the two numbers have the same sign, that means that we're going to add the two numbers together. 1 plus 10 is 11. And then we're going to keep the sign that both numbers have. So the answer will be negative 11. Next, we're going to have negative 8 minus negative 6 and 48 minus negative 31. Pause the video and try these questions on your own first. For the first question, we need to simplify the two negatives that are right next to each other. A negative times a negative gives us a positive number. So that means we can rewrite this question as negative 8 plus 6. Negative 8 is a negative number and 6 is a positive number. Since both signs are different, we can subtract these two numbers together. 8 minus 6 is 2, and then we're going to keep the sign of the bigger number. Since 8 is bigger, the answer is going to be negative. For the second question, we have 48 minus negative 31. The two negatives are going to turn into a positive. And we will have 48 plus 31. Next, we think about do these two numbers have the same sign or different signs? 48 is positive and 31 is positive. That means that we're going to add the two numbers together. 48 plus 31 is 79. And since we're adding them together, since they have the same sign, our answer will also have that sign.
Next, we're going to have negative 38 plus 30. 38 has a negative sign in front. 30 has a positive sign in front. Since they have different signs, we need to subtract the bigger number by the smaller number. 38 minus 30 is 8. And then we're going to keep the sign of the bigger number. 38 is negative, so our answer is going to be negative. Our last question for this video will be negative 29 plus negative 29. When we have a positive and a negative right next to each other and we multiply them, a positive times a negative is a negative. So we can rewrite this as negative 29 minus 29. Since they have the same sign, they both have a negative in front, we can add them together. 29 plus 29 is 58. And since both of these numbers are negative, our answer will also be negative. If you learned something new in this video, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one tutoring, check out the link in the description. I'll see you in the next one.